Today we are going to learn about specific impulse. First, we are going to learn about what is impulse. Impulse is denoted by symbol J. It is an integral of force over a time interval T for which it acts. Now, thrust force. According to Newton's third law, every action there it has equal and opposite reaction. So here action is accelerating mass of air toward ground. This is an action and reaction is thrust. How to find thrust produced by rocket engine? Let's find R rocket thrust equation. Here you can see here F is equal to M dot Vj plus Pe minus Pa into Ae. M dot is a mass flow rate of exhaust gas. Here M dot. Then Vj is a nozzle jet velocity. Pe pressure at the nozzle exit. Then Pa. Pa is a ambient pressure. Then Ae is exit area of nozzle. Like this one. Exit area of nozzle. Now our equation of thrust is M dot mass flow rate J nozzle jet velocity plus Pe minus Pa into Ae. This is our thrust equation of rocket. If we divide this equation by m dot mass flow rate, we will get effective velocity Ve is equal to jet nozzle jet velocity plus Pe minus Pa into Ae divided by m dot. This is effective velocity. Effective exhaust velo velocity. Effective exhaust velocity is not an actual velocity. It is average velocity that produces the same thrust as the momentum thrust and pressure thrust added together. Force is equal to m dot into Ve. So force is equal to m dot into Ve. We know that total impulse is equal to integration of integration over thrust with respect to time t is equal to 0 to tb burning time. So here f is equal to m dot ve equation 1. So total impulse is equal to t st start from 0 to burning time of propellant into m dot ve dt this is a expression for total impulse now finally we are going to learn about specific impulse specific impulse it is a ratio of total impulse to the weight of the propellant so this is total impulse and this is weight of propellant we derived total impulse as it is a thrust force integrated over burning time tb and this is weight weight of propellant so we derive thrust is equal to m dot ve so taking v outside integration 0 to tb m dot dt divided by g to 0 to tb m dot dt 0 tb m dot dt get cancelled we get total impulse is equal to effective velocity divided by gravitational acceleration this is our isp means specific impulse it is ratio of effective velocity divided by gravitational acceleration